looking at a large planting of catmint and this is a planting that's starting to show problems that we call root rot. Um, if you look at these plants, some of them look perfectly fine and healthy and then the next plant that we come to is starting to show overall dieback and decline. The plants are wilting and a lot of the leaves are drying up and in some cases falling off. When I see this type of overall symptom of decline, it suggests to me that I really need to pull this plant out and look at the roots to make sure that they're normal and healthy. Your normal and healthy roots should be light colored, they should be abundant, and in the case of these plants, what we found is that the root system is in fact pretty sparse and it's very discolored, black to brown. Now, for this problem, we've actually tested these plants in the Plant Disease and Insect Diagnostic Lab, which you could do if you took a sample to your county extension office, and we figured out that this type of root rot we have here is Phytophthora root rot. Now, Phytophthoras are another name that we give to them are water molds or water-loving fungal-like organisms. They really like soggy, wet soil conditions. So the other thing I noticed when I pulled this plant out is that the soil here is very heavy. There's a lot of clay and it's also really wet. Um, there may be some drainage issues here, but there's certainly an overwatering problem. The extra water probably predisposed this planting to this disease and this is what we end up with. Now unfortunately there's no treatments that a home gardener can do to save plants like this other than removing the plants and discarding them. When you do remove the plant you want to get the entire root system and as much of the associated soil as possible and dispose of it in the regular trash, not in a compost pile. Now, the best case here would be to leave this area fallow, which means no plants. Even weeds, we'd want to take care of those. But if you do want to immediately replant, there is a fact sheet we'll share with you that you can refer to that have a list of plants that are resistant or tolerant to Phytophthora. And that would be the kind of plants we want to put back in this location. So another tip, if you have root rot, these are plants we're not going to be able to save. We're going to dig them up and discard them with your trash.